Welcome to the Tellme tutorial. This video provides an overview of the Tellme system to create procedures by instruction. It will explain how the system works, how to access the system, and will also describe the user interface. The following diagram gives an overview of the Tellme architecture. The Tellme web UI is the interface between the Tellme system and the user. The system consists of three main APIs, the Suggestion API, the Beamer API, and the Procedure Modification API. The Suggestion API essentially suggests completions as a user types. The Beamer API returns high-level procedure modification tasks for a user instruction. Both of these APIs rely on a library of procedure modification paraphrases which are essentially predefined templates of how a typical user would write instructions to modify a procedure. We also have a library of mappings of ontological terms like steps, data types and properties in the domain ontology to commonly use text. The Procedure Modification API relies on procedure modification heuristics to not just implement the procedure modification tasks coming from Beamer, but also generate hypotheses of its own by tightening the procedures, adding missing steps, etc. First, as the user types, the instruction with incomplete words is sent to the prefix tree based suggestion API. This partial match search is based on multiple prefix trees for each kind of paraphrase which allows most instantaneous search as the user types. We get back possible matches which results in instructions with completed words being shown to the user. Once the user selects a completed instruction, or chooses to write one of his or her own, the instruction, along with the current procedure, is sent to the Beamer API. The Beamer API does a full instruction search based on the procedure modification paraphrases and the domain ontology text mappings and returns a set of procedure modification tasks. These tasks, along with the current procedure, are sent over to the Procedure Modification API to check for validity of the modification tasks, perform the modification, and add alternative procedure representations based upon its procedure modification heuristics. These possible procedures are then sent back to the Beamer API which sends them back to the Tell Me Web UI to be shown to the user. The user then selects one of the possible procedures as the current procedure, and the cycle continues for the next instruction. Now I shall quickly give an overview of the Tell Me Web User Interface. You can access the Tell Me portal from the URL shown on your screen. Please request our project team for a login in case you would like to try it out. This is the Tell Me interface window for creating procedures. On the left side, under the Tell Me tab, is the main Tell Me interface window for creating procedures by instruction. On the top left is a text area where we can type instructions to the Tell Me system. As the user types, The Tell Me Suggestion API offers word and sentence completions based on the library of paraphrase patterns that it has about all the steps in the domain. Note that users here have the illusion of typing free text, but in fact Tell Me is guiding them to say what it understands by offering these completions. However, users can still type anything they want, and if the Tell Me Beamer API cannot understand, then they will be marked in red. Each instruction by the user is inferred by the Tell Me system to create multiple hypothesized procedures. And the user selects one before proceeding further. This creates a history of the user's utterances and selections in a tree form 
which is shown under the instruction text box. And finally, on the right hand side is the procedure representation itself. It is divided into two parts. The lower part shows a graphical representation of the procedure, which is shown as steps, variables, and links between variables and steps, whereas the upper part shows constraints on the variables. This video gave an overview of the TellMe architecture and the TellMe user interface. In the next video, I shall go over an example TellMe scenario and explain what is going on behind the scenes in the TellMe system. Thank you.